time to order some fried chicken for delivery. Chicken on the run for the win. <clears throat> oh, I have a message. Hold on a second. From that mysterious number I received earlier. No actual message, just dead air. Okay. And yes, I did, Godzilla X-Man, a.k.a. Ultraman 52. I did watch your DVD collection vid and your VHS vid where you spent half the video trying to get the camera down there. <laughs> it's like, okay, we got the light down there, and it's like, fuck, I can't get the camera. Ah, very awkward. Uh, ah. Five minutes later. Okay, I think we're okay now. <laughs> This is why we edit. <laughs> okay, chicken, 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 chicken. Hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery. Sure, it's 250. That's actually my old address. I've moved since then. <laughs> New address is number 105. Now let's try getting the stupid camera going. Stupid camera. There we go. Okay. Make some room here.
me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Why is there a spider on my chicken? Got my eating pants on. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. <sighs> no, it's Chicken on the Run, a local place. Thank the spider for cooking the chicken, yes. Thanks, spider. You make a mean chicken, man. I think what must have happened is it was probably on the ceiling. It smelled the chicken and just dropped down onto my plate. <laughs> yeah, let me unmute Chris here.
Well, hmm. God damn. Good bragging, Sean. So good. I haven't had this kind of chicken in so long. They use like this 25 year old recipe. They call it broasting, where it's a combination of broiling and roasting that uh, seals in the uh, juices. So it's like super juicy, delicious chicken. If I had money right now, I'd be ordering a pizza while watching your show. No. Bros roasting. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen that hobby. What did I show? What? I don't remember. Refresh my memory. What did I show? No, <laughs> hot dog. Oh, practically the same thing. Oh, the Hitchcock tin, yeah. You bought a Mill Creek tin? Oh, it's got tin, yeah. And it was just the regular edition in a tin? You a oh, you got the Spaghetti Westerns one. Sweet. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a tin version of that. Oh, you got the Spaghetti Westerns one. Sweet. Awesome. I didn't even know there was a tin version of that. That's a great collection. I've been having a blast with that, it. I that, Javi. I've really been enjoying that a lot. That's I watched the Grand Duel yesterday. Oh, God. Mm. Another classic Lee Van Cleef one. I watched Serenity two hours ago, Sean. Mm. <laughs> oh, you finally saw Serenity, eh? So what'd you think? I did. Why'd they have to kill Wash? I know. I know. I don't know. My girlfriend was especially sad about that. Wash was her favorite character. Oh, yeah, he was everybody's favorite character. My girlfriend was especially sad about that. Wash was her favorite character. And it just seemed so random, too. It's like, well, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> and it just seemed so random, too. It's like, well, we made it. <laughs> well, well, that is kind of Joss Whedon's thing. <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares that Book died. It's only that Wash died. <laughs> Nobody cares that Book died. It's only that Wash died. I actually cared that Book died, but there was something like Wash overshadowed it. Yeah, definitely. It's like let's what make am I looking at, Hobby? let's make extra sure we can never bring back. It was a great movie. Back. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna get the Blu-ray in mm -hmm. a couple weeks. Did you just uh, Netflix it? Some good wedge fries, man. Uh, me, no, I, I uh, rented it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I just couldn't take it anymore. I was sitting, had nothing to do, and I thought I finally saw this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I see you know that guy. Um, is having some fun with the uh, webcam. Javi keeps showing off his damn excellent Blu-rays. Goddamn you, Javi. He was on my live show yesterday trying to get me to, like, try to spoil Pirates 4 for me. Oh, really? Everybody dies. You know, yeah. at the end. Yeah, she said, she said Jack dies. Everybody dies. <laughs> what a bastard. He keeps sending me links to like the end credits and the fucking scene afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the end. It was a ghost the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually did spoil that one for me. Ironic. <laughs> I was so pissed off. Someone actually did spoil that one for me. Ironic. <laughs> I was so pissed off. You gonna go see X Men First Class, Sean? I probably won't see it in the theater. I'll see it when it hits the five dollar Blu ray bin. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody, but I didn't think the third X-Men was that bad. Oh, blasphemy. That's it. We're going to have to flay you alive now. <laughs> oh, blasphemy. That's it. We're going to have to flay you. I, I've seen your video, Sean. I do agree with it, but I didn't think it was a horrendous movie. The fucking battle at the end. That's awesome. The battle? Oh, oh! You mean that minor skirmish in which nothing was at stake? Yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. The battle? <laughs> oh, oh! You mean that minor skirmish in which nothing was at stake? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> it was just fun, man. Funny thing is, I saw it as a double feature in theaters right after Superman Returns. Oh, Superman Returns. That was that was another great movie. What an awesome double bill you had. <laughs> and to be honest, I actually thought X Men Three was better than Superman Returns. I think they both suck, just like, in I still different like ways. Superman Returns, though. Yeah. And I'm usually pretty forgiving, but. I think they both suck, just in different ways. It's like I, as a kid, like I saw them both, and like X Men Three was like so epic and badass with Hugh Jackman, and Superman Returns just seemed so boring. Yeah. Well, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, he's just amazing as the character. Well, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, as far as I'm concerned. I just wish two of the three movies didn't suck I so bad. I do agree. Like, it's the same with Serenity. Like, oh, I mean, why did we have so many four. characters in X-Men 3 die? <laughs> it's like in X-Men 3, it's like, oh... Apparently they kill characters off a lot in the comics, so we should probably do that in the movie. Well, Brett yeah, but there will be no reason for it. Trick pony. He should stick to Rush Hour. Yeah. They say that, do they, J Star? Who's that? The producers of the movie? <laughs> really? Did they? Eh, I don't know. I don't feel like it would be that. Is that the the marketing department said that? Oh, well, that must be true. <laughs> I do remember seeing a trailer and like the Charles Xavier character says next thing you know I'm going to be bald I thought that was a lame joke <laughs> ah it's <that's> funny <laughs> <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm the only one that thought it was a tad lame like eh Oh, I'm sure you weren't the only one. Next thing I'm going to be a bald cripple. Ha ha ha, whatever. Like that would happen. But the guy who, uh, who's playing Magneto looks pretty badass. Yeah. Jesus, Javi. Whoa, Javi. Are you rich? Why aren't you buying my DVDs? Come on. Get on that shit, yo. Yeah. God, you fucking bastard. That's all his prostitution money. That guy owes me money. Brother owes me five bucks. That's all his prostitution money. He owed me 40 bucks. For Reviews are pretty Tony positive. Show, man. He owed well, me money. I mean, I'll give it a chance, but um, given how poorly the previous two have been, how poorly, you know what I mean, how bad the previous two have been, I'm, I'm going in with my expectations low.
So if it surpasses Wait, my... Wait, I think you didn't like Origins either, Sean? Well, I, I haven't actually seen Origins yet, but I've heard enough about it from people whose opinions I trust to know that it's probably going to piss me off almost as much as X3. So yeah, I will uh I will see it when it is properly cheap on Blu-ray. Ah, oh, the money is for the laptop. Oh, mm. no it's not. I will see it when it is properly cheap. Money is for the laptop except you can't find one. <laughs> and apparently customer service is non-existent in your area. Yeah, whatever. We don't want your money. <laughs> you went in without a shirt on, didn't you? <laughs> Everyone was intimidated by your manly physique. You went in Does anybody want to go help that shirtless guy over there? I can't. He makes me feel so inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> He will just ignore him and he'll go away. <laughs> Welcome back, Pablo. I got my chicken. <laughs> we actually think that we think that the guy who's supposed to be giving me the package screwed us. I got my chicken. Like not Javi, but like the guy the guy he ordered from. Wait a minute, he ordered something, like from a third-party seller or something? And it hasn't shown up yet, I gather? Yeah, he's, he's, he, uh, he bought something on Amazon mm. to send to me as a package, but we think this guy screwed up. Really? Well, how long has it been? Maybe he's just slacking. Sometimes sellers are a little slow to get things out. Check his feedback. Two weeks. Oh, two weeks isn't too bad. They have like uh, I've sold quite a bit on Amazon before. You have like a almost like a week long window to actually send a package out. Really? I'll have to double check that, Javier, because um, sometimes the <laughs> Best Buy U.S. prices aren't the same in Canada. Even though it's the same parent company, they're handled yeah. as two completely different stores. It's the same thing with uh, Best Buy and Future Shop. Even though they're both owned you know, well, by the yeah, same company, they're the handled as two right. separate stores. It's the same thing with, uh, Best but I will check. Now I'm starting to think I should just hide X-Men 3 on my shelf, since everyone seems so <laughs> anti-me that I like it. Yes, we're very anti-you. It's not even about the movie anymore, Chris. It's just about you. <laughs> it's just like everyone seems to hate it except for me. <laughs> I actually got into a big argument with a guy on Blu-ray.com a while ago. He was saying that X3 was the best of the franchise. I'm like, what the fuck are you on? X2 was the best of the franchise, and that is common knowledge. That is fact, my friend. That is not opinion. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. It's not good really chicken unless you're X covered in grease after. The franchise, but I still liked X-Men 3. I didn't think it was the best, but I didn't think it was horrendous. Could have been better. Could have been worse. No, it could have been better. I'll give you that much. No, it 
could have been better. I'll give you that medal. So I recorded when I ordered the chicken, again, it's the same. Like, and I that like video Iron will Man be entitled. 2. A lot of people hated Iron Man 2. I thought, you know, it wasn't that bad. Could have been better, but could have been worse. And, and that video will be entitled Ordering Chicken. I am now recording again. This video will be entitled Eating Chicken and talking about X-Men movies. I'm going to get one more piece of chicken. I'll be right back. Eating chicken. Yeah, he's making me want chicken. What's Halo like, uh. Bobby? Grabbed a few more wedge fries, too. Nom, nom, nom. Grabbed a few more wedge fries, too. Grab it. Why did you get off cam, Pablo? What's going on? I'm confused. What's happening? I'm going to ask this, just since we're kind of on the subject. How many people here hated Spider-Man 3? I liked it. I actually liked Spider-Man 3. I don't know what everybody's problem is with it. It was a little overcrowded, but I thought Sam handled the various plot lines pretty well. I actually liked Spider-Man 3. I don't know what everybody's mm. problem is with it. Apparently Love everyone's Legends. problem with it is that there's too many villains. Yeah. But... It could have been another Batman and Robin, but it wasn't. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Because really there was only two villains, um, two main villains, and then just resolving the Goblin storyline. Yeah, Spider-Man 2 was great, for sure. I really liked the first one, too, actually. I thought some of the scenes of him oh, trying yeah, to learn how to use his powers were pretty oh, awesome. Javi took his shirt off. And amusing. Two, one, then three. Yeah, I thought some people's just, like, huge reactions of utter contempt and hatred for it were a little over the top. And like, come on, it's not X3. I thought some people's just, like, huge reactions of utter contempt and hatred for it were a little over the top. Best superhero movie of well, all time. Well, that's fanboys for you, Sean. Well, he definitely got all the elements right. Spider-Man 2. That was good stuff. It actually made Dr. Octopus an interesting character. Venom did get kind of gypped, but the, there were some good Venom moments in there. Mmm, Watchmen, yes. <clears throat> oh my god, will the phone stop ringing today? And plus, Sam Raimi had no intention to use Venom. It was just that at the last minute to please fans. Oh my god, what a phone stop when you say. Uh, another fucking telemarketer. 
no, Telus, I am never switching back to you. Stop calling. Watchmen's a great movie. I wouldn't call it the best comic book movie of all time, but uh, uh, it's in the top five. I'm getting very full. And I still have tons of chicken and wedge fries left. Oh, leftovers, baby. This is why I get the big pack. My fingers are covered in grease. I can't unmute anybody right now. You know what? You're making me hungry, Sean. I'm going to go get something. <laughs> yeah, I switched to Shaw a few years ago. Been uh, very happy ever since. Minecraft on a phone, eh? Cool. I know a lot of people seem to like to play Minecraft not so much for playing Minecraft, but for building weird shit using Minecraft parts. Minecraft? Minecraft. <laughs> Yes, Margot, some people call it mental telepathy. I always liked how Lamont Cr Cranston always made the distinction that it was mental telepathy. Is there other kinds of telepathy we weren't aware of? Whenever I get a bucket of chicken, I always think of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where you go into the chicken place and just keep ordering food until CJ pukes. So what my brother and I would always do is we would order, like, the bucket of chicken, and we counted. You had to eat 
11 things in a row in order to make him puke. So, like, he'd eat 10 things, and on the 11th one, he'd just automatically puke. So we were thinking, like, okay, we just forced force-fed CJ 11 buckets of chicken. Now, you figure that's, like, 20 pieces of chicken per bucket. <laughs> he just ate 220 pieces of chicken. <laughs> I think I'd be puking too. <laughs> and on that note, this was me eating chicken while we talk about comic book movies.